H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h 2 So going forward, you'll see that uh, an example of a while loop. I already have my Eclipse open. Okay, so I'll create a new project. I'll, I'll, I'll call that project as session 10. Click on next and click on the finish button out here. I don't want to change the theme of the Eclipse ID. I'll say no to it. So in this session 10, I will create a new package inside the source folder. Highlight the source folder, right click and choose the new option and click on the package sub option present. So I'll give the package name as let's say while loop. Just to have an understanding. And inside this, I'll inside the package, I'll create a class file and I'll call this class file as while loop. Call up the main method because I want to get the result in the console of Eclipse. So let's now see certain examples of while loop. So the let's see the first program of while loop. Let's say the first program can be uh, addition of the first hundred numbers. So we want to get the addition of the first hundred numbers. Starting with one so the first hundred number if we start with one is one until hundred and including one and including hundred that is what we want to understand so we have to have we have to basically do what we have to actually add one plus two plus three plus four until hundred and get the result of it so what is the result of this particular addition Okay, now for this particular scenario, what we need to have is the first the initial statement. So the initial statement has to be defined. And what can be the initial statement and how do we get the initial statement? Initial statement is nothing but the initial value of the variable. The initial value that we start what start with is 1. And that is what we have defined in the uh, program that we have to start with one. So this becomes the initial statement. That means one becomes the initial statement. So what will I do is that I will create a variable a whose initial value is one. Okay. Now, when we add the numbers, the addition of the numbers has to be kept in a particular, you know, uh, memory. Now, when we do not add any numbers, what is the initial value in the memory? When we do not add any number, the initial value in the memory is 0. So the, that 0 has to be placed in a variable, right? Otherwise, how will the program understand? So what we will do is that we will create a variable called sum. And this sum will hold the addition of the numbers. The initial value of the sum is what? The initial value of the sum is 0. And then we can use a while loop. Okay. Now, what is the condition we have to give is very important. And this is the syntax of the while loop. So while loop will have the body part. This is the body part of while loop. And this is the parenthesis in which the condition statement has to be given. Now, what is the condition? We have to add until 100. So we have to check the value of A starts with 1 and it goes until 100 and including 100. So how is the condition given? A should be less than equal to 100. Excuse me. So this is the condition met. If the condition is true, then only the compiler will execute the body part of the loop or the loop body. Otherwise, if the condition is false, 
the compiler will terminate the while loop or rather get out of the while loop. Now, what is the first thing that we need to do if the condition is true? Okay, we can write down uh, rather print out the first value just for your understanding. The first value of A rather. So, we will print out the first value of A. So, I will write down a condition in which uh, a comment in which printing print the first value of A. Okay. So, the value of A is is concatenate the variable A out here. So, the first value of A is 1. So, that should be printed out. So, in that particular manner, if I am putting this, this println command inside the while loop, what is going to happen? The value of A will not, not remain at 1. So, I cannot write, give a statement that a comment rather like this, which states that print the first value of A. I will write down print the values of A. Okay. First thing, I will print out the values of A. Second thing, I want to add the numbers. So, I have to call up sum. Sum will be equal to sum plus A. Now, what is going to happen out here? Okay. This will basically, the initial value of sum is 0. So, the initial value of 0 will be added with the value of A. And what the initial value of A is 1. So, what is the initial value of sum? The initial value of sum is equal to 0 and the value of initial value of a is equal to 1. So, what is the value of sum will be there? It will be 1. So, I want to print out now print the values of sum. So, I will use a CISO statement and I will write down the <coughs> value of sum is concatenate with the sum variable. Now, how does this particular while loop work? So, I am basically, my agenda is to add the first 100 numbers starting with 1. So, the first number is 1 and it has to go until 100. That is what is the first 100 numbers and you have to add the numbers. So, when we do not add the numbers, the initial value of the addition will be 0. And this 0 has to be kept in a memory space and that has to be kept that means in a variable and that variable is sum. How does this particular while loop works? Now, this particular part is nothing but the body of the while loop. Okay. So, A is less than equal to 100. The value of A is 1. 1 is less than equal to 100. Yes, the condition is true. The loop body will be executed. The, what is part of the loop body? The value of A will be printed out. So, what is the first value of A that will be printed out? 1. Okay. Then, sum will be equal to sum plus a. So, sum is equal to 0 and the value initial value of a is 1. So, 1. So, what will the printout happen out here? The printing will be of 1. After that, where are you adding this 1? Where are you adding this 1 with 2, 3, 4 until 100? So, what we need to do? We need to use a incremental statement. inside the while loop. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a bad cold still. So, incremental means I want to increment the value of A from 1 to 2 right now. So, A is equal to A plus 1. I can either write like this or I can also write like A plus plus. That also means the same. It means A is equal to A plus 1. So, what is going to happen in this particular part? So, it will print out the value of sum which is equal to 1 and this 1 will come after adding the initial value of sum which is 0 plus the value of a which is equal to 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1. After the, this printing out, what is going to happen? It will increment the value of a. So, the value of a will be equal to right now. The initial value of a is 1 in the memory right now and plus 1 which is equal to 2. Now, what happens out here in this particular code? the value of A has been changed from 1 to 2. So, right now, the value of A in the memory is 2. And this 2 will be checked with the condition. Is true less than equal to 100? 
the condition becomes true when the condition becomes true the compiler is going to execute the while loop again so that is why we say that first the condition will be checked in the while loop and then the loop body will be executed moment the condition becomes false the while loop will be terminated by the compiler in this particular instance this condition is still true so what will happen what will be printed out the value of 2 then what is going to happen sum will be you know uh, the the value of sum will be executed or other computed by the compiler so what is the value of sum the earlier value of sum was 1 so this one will be taken and what is the latest value of sum of a sorry the latest value of a is 2 so what is the value of sum right now 3 so in the next line the compiler will see the println command so what will be printed out 3 after that the compiler will see this particular line of code so what will happen a's value will be incremented so what is the earlier value of a in the memory 2 what will be added to it 1 from here so the current value of a changes to 3 so what will happen the current value of a that is equal to 3 will be computed and the condition will be checked by the compiler so what will be checked is 3 less than equal to 100 condition again becomes true so it, this is nothing but the all logic use is 3 less than 100 or 3 is equal to 100 3 is less than 100 3 cannot be equal to 100. So, one condition is true, whereas the other condition is false, but you are using an odd logic out here. See, one of the condition is also true, the whole condition becomes true. That is why the whole condition becomes true and you are getting inside the while loop. So, what is going to be printed out first? The value of A right now. So, the value of A in the memory is 3. So, that is going to be printed out by the compiler. And then, the value of C will be computed. So, what was the earlier value of sum? The earlier value of sum was 3. And what is the current value of A in the memory? The current value of A in the memory is 3. So, 3 plus 3, 6. And that is what is going to be printed out by this particular line of code by the compiler. And then after that, the incrementation of the value of A. So, A will become equal to A plus and what is the value of A in the memory right now? 3. 3 and will be added with 1. And that will become 4. So, the current value of A becomes 4 in the memory of the computer. So, 4 will be checked with the condition. The condition becomes true. So, what will be printed out? It will be printed out with 4. Value of A will be 4. And then, next line the computation for sum will happen by the compiler. So, what will the compiler do? Sum is equal to, what was the earlier value of sum? The earlier value of sum was 6. And 6 is added with the current value of A. The current value of A is 4. And that's going to be 10. And that's how you print out the value of 10 in the next line. And that will be printed out by the compiler. And after that, there will be ungraded incrementation of value. So, until unless the value of a becomes 99 for example so what will happen 99 the value of 99 will be checked with that particular condition is less than equal to 100 or not the condition still is true 99 is less than 100 99 cannot be equal to 100 but there is a all logic used out here the condition becomes true so what is going to happen the condition becomes true so the compiler will get inside the body of the while loop and the value of a will be printed out the value of a is 99 next the value of sum will be printed out so there will be earlier value of sum some earlier value of sum will be there that will be added with the current value of a the current value of a in the memory is 99 and there will be some value this sum value will be taken by the compiler and will be printed out in the next line. Okay. And after that, again, there will be incrementation of A, 200. Because 99 plus 1 is equal to 100. That is the value of A right now in the memory. So, A will be checked with the condition. The value of A is 100. 
so 100 is less than 100 no 100 is equal to 100 yes so one of the condition is true the all logic is used out here the condition becomes true the whole condition get inside the while, while loop the compiler will terminate the not terminate rather will execute the body part of the while loop and what will be printed in for the value of a hundred and then the value of sum will be computed so what will happen the value of sum will be equal to the earlier value of sum the earlier value of sum is sum value so sum value plus a the what is the latest value of a hundred okay so this value will be something let's say sum value one so this is let's let us see let us understand this is the hypothetical value of sum so this value will be printed out by the compiler in the next line of code okay and then the value of a will be again incremented so a will be equal to the earlier value of a was 100 plus 1 which is equal to 101 so this value will be again checked for the condition okay so this value will be checked so 101 is less than 100 no is 101 equal to 100 no the whole condition becomes false what is going to happen the compiler will terminate the while loop and will get outside of the while loop so this is how the while loop works so if we save this class file and run it we will see the result of while loop